As tertiary institutions across the country resume classes, many of them, according to City News Checks, have resorted to blending online and face-to-face -face teaching and learning. This is to ensure that COVID-19 protocols are adhered to at all times. To ensure social distancing, almost all the final year students of the colleges of education across the country are expected to stay home for six weeks for virtual learning, whilst first and second years stay on campus for face to face teaching and learning. Subsequently, they return to school after the six weeks for the second year students to also go home and start virtual learning and teaching. The SRC president of the Ola College of Education, Joanna Egan, tells City News there needs to be a rethink of the approach by authorities of the schools to ensure efficiency. She argued that a large number of students do not have access to internet facilities in their places of residence. With regards to the online learning, it has been difficult and it is still difficult because there are other places in Ghana where they are difficult in accessing networks. And then when these level 300 are sent to, to the house, it becomes very difficult for them to learn online. So I think now it's difficult. And as well as the data, it's very difficult because students, as at now, are struggling with how to get data to assess this virtual learning. So it's very difficult for us. We are really, really suffering. Meanwhile, the head of ICT and virtual learning at the Ola College of Education, Victor Ayamfo, says the college has taken the students through orientation to help minimize the challenges associated with virtual learning. We signed up a contract with Vodafone where we have been given the 10 tertiary bundle. So all students in this college have the SIM where they assess our networks. They have free data, five gig every month, which is roll on. They also have 100 SMS. They have 150 cross net call time. And the call time for the network is free, which means that they can do group activity, discuss using that one. Again, there was a project by Transforming Teacher Education and Learning where some smartphones were given to deserving students.